are the beauty hags. Today we thought we would do the best hags for de-hagging your face. Mm. I.e. how to not look so tired, haggard, knackered. <laughs> <laughs> I've got all the product. I've got a few because I don't think there's a lot but I think you can fake it till you make it. Mm. So we're going to talk about the products that you use probably on the train in the morning. Yeah, I do. At I don't your care. desk. Yeah. You don't care. Do no, you? I don't. Um, but what I found, uh, I found January really tough. Oh, I just think I've looked ever, didn't it? It looks, but I feel like I've looked the worst that I've ever looked. <laughs> you know, when you're just like, I so How's it tired. No drinking, guy. <laughs> <laughs> I just oh, you But know you know what though? Why'd you add the exercising go? Have you not done anything? No, like, not a thing. I, I can barely lift my arm above a certain angle now. I've got to go to a physio first. Anyway, no. how did the no drinking go? What? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> it, went. <laughs> it, went. it went! Out the window. <laughs> Three days. I yeah. think she lasted three days. I know. I'm one of those days. Exercise. One of those days I was so hungover that I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't face drink. Uh, no, one of them was New Year's Day. That doesn't really count, does it? Doesn't it? Care. Uh -uh. Uh, so what we thought we'd do is we thought uh, we'd do our de hagging Hagging. Beauty hags tips. Mm -hmm. You start. Okay. So this is no lie. This is what I do m every morning. Yeah. I've got my Primark mask in the yeah freezers. Um, and then I've got my Herbivore Botanicals Jade Roller. I use this every single day. I keep this in the freezer as well. Jade is, honestly, even if you don't think it does anything, which it does, it feels so it's nice. It's just cool. It's got no, crystals do not have any healing powers. They don't vibrate at different, no, but what it does at different but frequency. Jade just stays cool. And it just stays it, cool. what it does is it moves the lymph because the lymph's right yeah. near the top of the surface of the skin, so you don't have to push that hard. lymph around. No. You don't have to break your herbivore roller to no. reach your lymph. This is my third one. I know. Uh, you can't help it though, because there's a certain, even though you know you don't have to press hard, there's a part of you that thinks, if I just press a little bit harder, <laughs> it's going to no work way. harder. So I do that. So I, in the morning, if I'm really tired, then I'll put on the ice mask, aka hungover. Hi, yeah, or hungover and tired. <laughs> um, and then I just roll that. So out, and ears up around there, yeah. under there, under there, up yeah. there, up there. That's yeah. that done. That's pretty quick. Um, one of my daughters got little quite puffy eyes in the morning, so she just uses it. I Can I just nice. say, she's also taken to using this, which is gua sha. What's gua sha? It's the Chinese traditional medicine tool. This is, this is like a beauty equivalent. Where would you get that from? I want to say Georgia Louise at Space NK. Doesn't mean a thing. Can I just say you turned to the neck like she was doing her neck earlier on. See that? What is that? You've got massive tyre marks up your neck where you've pushed too hard. Oh no, off. someone ran over me earlier on the way here <laughs> with a BMX. Gua Sha <laughs> is part of traditional Chinese medicine. The idea is you detox yourself through your skin. Can't detox yourself through your skin. The idea is you're supposed to do it so hard that you drag blood to the surface Woo! of your skin in the same way of cupping. And basically beauty has bastardized it and created them to do the equivalent of that, which is lymphatic drainage. Mm. Do it gently, it might boost lymphatic drainage. It might feel nice. I suggest you don't put a stone anywhere near your face. What's wrong with fingers? <laughs> That are intuitive and give you biofeedback all the time so you know you're pushing What's too hard. What's bio, uh, pain? No, biofeedback is, is biofeedback is two-way feedback like you can only feel that from one side yeah you yeah, that yeah with your got fingers it. yeah you'll feel both ways you feel from your fingers if you're pushing too hard and from your face if you're pushing too hard that's the stone why that should be anywhere near any part of your body biggest belief mm, i quite like it have you seen the track marks it's left on your neck where you pushed too hard earlier yeah but that's all i'm saying <laughs> It's usually a good thing, isn't it? Can we just say, this is why we're so good together, okay? So she never brushes her hair, I'm obsessed with I was thought you were going to say brush her teeth. <laughs> brushes her hair, I'm obsessed with brushing my hair. She's just got this stuff out. She is a beauty brand's dream. Oh. She'll believe anything she's told. Bullshit. <laughs> it is. That's exactly what most of it is. That's what, oh. It feels so nice. And it's, it's like the shape of a heart. Okay. Right, that's that then. <laughs> oh no, don't go break it. Um, what I was going to say was, if, yeah, you, where do is want, this piece of if you do want high tech and you want to boost your lymphatic drainage with minimum effort, that's a Ferreo. A Ferreo 
vibrates so it uses sort of microsonic vibrations it's a cleansing pad trini goes on about i don't think it cleanses your face any better than a microfiber cloth however if you put it in there and push it it will boost your lymphatic drainage because if you think lymphatic drainage is static within the skin because it works on muscle movement you don't have that much muscle movement in your face especially if you've got a face full of Botox <laughs> that's so, same like which actually <laughs> I haven't at the moment look at oh, these no, wrinkles oh no I haven't either look. look at these wrinkles but you can use this in the same way you can use it out and here and I just think it's softer um, I heard a rumour about this the other day what? what you put it under your armpit? no somebody told me that they pleasured themselves with it not that one don't worry <laughs> never pleasured myself with a Ferrero. Oh, can we stop using But when you're stuck in a hotel on your own, I sort of... What? Oh, I look. The beauty blogger who's got lots of followers shall remain nameless. But you'll never listen to that buzz again in the same way without thinking that. Anyway, sorry. There you go. So you can technically use that. It doesn't vibrate that much. You're going much. to have to. Personally, no. But also, like, that's quite small. You don't want that going anywhere. What you don't want to lose that, do no, you? No, jeez, man. You don't want to end up on um, Mrs. and Jemmy's feed for having that removed from a body cavity, do you? Do you know what this would make me... Th that makes me feel ill. Like, not the... Well, that makes me feel ill. But the... <laughs> <laughs> but the, it, the, the vibrating. It gives me a headache. Really? Yeah, because it's like making everything like... Ugh. Yeah, micro. No, don't like that. Okay. Don't like that. I much prefer my sonic... Um... <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> I really want, really, really want one of those new news. Not new news, what are they called? New face. <laughs> new face, yeah. Okay. Because I saw Lisa Eldred using, using one on her one of her videos. And it was like, it looked quite nice. Um, and then, but I didn't get one of those. I got, I, I could, they're really quite hard to find. Um, this is like a, um, what's it called? What? What's it called? What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it. you like it, they're going to want to know where to find it. Okay. Where did you get it from? Um, I, I got it for Christmas. Somebody bought you that for Christmas? Yeah, my mum. Okay. Um, Sorry, Joe's mum. Oh, she, she ain't got internet. <laughs> <laughs> it's got, an Arbonne Intelligence. That's it. Genius. So what is, <gasps> that was Can like, I just say, Trini swears by a new face. New face is I really That's microcurrent. Maybe that's what this is then. And but I love the fact that you use it. You've had it bought for you, and you don't actually know how it works. Well, my mum just said, "Oh, Joe. Is it, I think it's designed to put serums into your." Yeah, skin. it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But what it do, do you know? What in it, which case it might be a microcurrent. I then. think it is a microcurrent. Because microcurrent temporarily disrupts the surface barrier function. Yeah, because so what you're you supposed to do on. is put your product on. So you're putting that over your makeup. So <laughs> I don't have any makeup on. What are you saying? Don't you? Oh, no. Right. Okay. Bloody cheek. Just natural. So you're doing all three of those in the morning, every morning? I will do, well, I'll only do the ice mask if my face is puffy. No, but you're doing the Gua Sha, the Jade Roller and the Arbonne. No, I don't do the Gua Sha, I only got that yesterday. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, no, I obviously won't do that again. Um, I mean, I wouldn't bother doing that either. I mean, I just think the only way to get the blood circulation and the inf circulation through your face is to do some sort of movement, like you've basically got to walk, I mean, you run out, you work out most mornings. You've got to basically think walk that for 10 minutes, headstand, Anything. Oh yeah, yogis Anything love it, like don't that. It's amazing for your face. It genuinely is. It genuinely is. I actually use um, a flannel now in the morning, which I never, I never used to use flannels because they're all white, like muslin. You know that um, cloths that come with muslin, muslin cloths and whatever. They're always white, right? Yeah. And that after one use, well, after one disgusting. use, you should boil wash them. What every single time? Yeah, you only use Primark microfiber cloth once, at the most twice because it's double sided. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Flannels? No, you can use a flannel more than once. No. But then why would you use a towel? You use a towel more than once. Because you don't wear makeup on your body. Yeah, but what's the, like, yes, but what to get it off, you mean? Yeah. Oh, well, that's, no, I'm not. <laughs> I just buy black flannels now and you can't tell if they've got makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you get your black flannels from? I do. From, from? um, M&S? White ones are better because you can see what you take well, that's off. that's why I don't want to see them. wash them. Yeah, but obviously I wash mine. Otherwise, how can you tell? You have to keep using your because flannel until no more comes off. No, because if you keep washing, the water will run clear. But even so, you need to... Oh, no. You oh, no, I'll give it a good going over. 
bet she does. No, no, but then, no, I tell you what, because at the end, when it when I feel like it's done, then I'll wipe it dry with a towel, a white towel. And you want and your then towel you can to be tell, clean? Yes. Yeah. I don't want my towel to have all gunge over it. Okay. What, what, was the point, what was the point of you saying suddenly about flannels? I think flannels are um, very exfoliation. good. Exfoliation. Yeah, I think they're amazing. Mm. I like microfiber cloths just because it gets rid of waterproof makeup, but you have to use one or the other or a good muslin cloth. But the whole point of a muslin cloth is it dries so quickly. Flannels take a while to dry, mm. but you can basically just stick it in the wash, bring it back out again. But yeah, you absolutely should have a clean one. You should have seven and keep them on rotation. <sighs> Did you not know that? Well, I mean, I just think, where does it end? Well... I'll tell you where it is. <laughs> I'd rather spend 200 quid on these yeah, yeah. than seven flannels. That's why you're a beauty brand's dream, I'm telling you. <laughs> right, okay, so that's your gadgets. Yes. I'm going to talk about... Uh, now, you've got, we've got a different one here. I've oh, got this because yeah. I, think, I think the quickest way to overcome a haggard morning face, and for me that wouldn't be so much puffy as it would be crinkly, is to stick a super hydrating serum on straight away. That's just... A glycerin based serum and that's indeed hydration boost which i've talked about lots but you like the indeed mineral one yeah i do because that it had <laughs> i'm such a marketer's dream it had something about having a tired face on it. and i do, do you know what i like about it because what i've been doing at the moment because i have been feeling so tired and so like looking like not great it's is layering on the serum yeah so, I've so much better than using a cream. Oh, so I've, much better. Yes, I can't wait to talk about that because that looks amazing. Yeah, I, I only got this, um, I got this a couple of days ago and I love it. But this you can just use um, in the middle of the day. You can put that over your makeup. And over yeah. makeup. But this, I just like um, layering on serums, but I like layering on ones that have different textures. Yes. Because I don't like, if I was to use these two together, it would just be a bit annoying. Like yeah. I quite like to have No, I like a clear different... one, then that one, then a yeah, thicker one. Yeah. Exactly. And anyway, I... I like that. It's purely hydrating. Trust me, there's nothing special about it at all. It's just glycerin. Praise be to glycerin. I really like, like that it. one because essentially that's that, but with added minerals. Exactly. Product. But the only thing I find frustrating about this is the pipette thing. It never properly gets like that. It's just the component tree is a little bit too. It's quite reasonably that priced. That's that. why. Is it? Also, once you get to the bottom, you'll have to use a cotton bud. Turn it upside down. Oh right. right. Because the pipette doesn't reach the bottom of the bottle. I do I think it's a really nice brand. Before. I think they're great products. Go on, your next one. Okay, so I love that. Oh, um, Let's and I, talk about that. Okay. Do you put that on first or that? Um, well, oh, no, that's your other serum. See, yeah. I would, do you, tell me you put that under that. I put this on first, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. This so is, this is a hyaluronic acid yeah. serum. And because this one's quite a sticky one as well. Like yeah. it's a proper sort of... Um, and this is Jane Scrivener Hyaluronic Buzz. It's and just, it's basically a clear, slightly gel hyaluronic... Yeah. I think it's single molecular, which is yeah. why it's sticky. And you have to put something like this over the top, otherwise it's gonna stay sticky. Uh, yeah, and it also it just it feels a little bit sticky. It just feels a tiny bit sort of like yeah. tight. No, absolutely. So I would use this that layer first, that. always hyaluronic first, loads of it. And oh, I wasn't wearing it at night, but I will now. Um, and then this over the top. And then I might, if I was really tight, put on um, a Paula's Choice antioxidant, yeah. um, uh, serum as well because the I, yeah, oh, I love them and they've just got such and they're all different sort of um, textures. serum textures yeah so and then if I was feeling extra dry the, I think this brand is from Beauty Pie is amazing so this is Beauty Pie Japan Fusion and as you can see I basically have used it all um, and I like it because it's no smell to it it's I it, love that range I think it's really nice. I think it's so, I would never use a cream that rich on my face I'd probably only use it at night it's quite nice for when you're like coming down here as well and all mm. like all around there I just think that brand is brilliant it's like a tenner I think, it's, I think that's great I would never spend a lot of money on moisturizer I'd spend no, money on serums but I wouldn't <coughs> spend money on moisturizer well some serums are purely moisturizing some moisturizers are purely moisturizing that is purely moisturizing yeah, and that's what I want a moisturizer to moisturize I want serums to do all the hard work. Yeah. You know, this is just sort of like the cherry on the cake. Um, and then this one, did you say? Yeah. Lixa skin. Oh, no, it's Lixa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not. It no, but so it does sorry. look... But the sim yeah. But this is like, I think this is about 35, 40 quid. <gasps> it's not. Yeah, I think it is. I'll check the price. You can't be. What's it got in it? It's just light reflecting, grown up. You no, 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 no. Pentapeptides. Oh. <laughs> it's stick. Biphastic formula. Biphasic. <laughs> you say 
they face Which means you're able to shake it, that's all, because yeah. it separates them. Um, uh, uh, um, it's designed to target fatigued complexions and older skin that needs an everyday boost. Instant dark circles and puffiness are reduced. Skin feels tighter and smoother. Um, so it's a two-phase formula, and the top phase contains hyaluronins. Hyal <laughs> what are they called? Go on. Hyaluronins? Yeah, it just means hyaluronic acid. Yeah, that keeps cells tightly together. Uh, minerals with microcirculation. I like it. The bottom made bottom face is made up of perfluorocarbons, which help the skin to take in oxygen. To oh, don't know a word of that. <coughs> I think it's got a soft, light focus finish with hyaluronic acid that just sort of like plumps everything up. But there's no way that's worth thirty five quid. What is it? Thirty five quid? Was it thirty five quid? I don't know, you tell me, I didn't look at well, the Well, you just had the press release. Got me arse out. It's a nice arse. 36, actually. 36 quid, that's far too small for 36 quid, I'm sorry. These are 11 quid. <laughs> it does, but it's not 36 quid. <laughs> <laughs> now, talking of things that do make your skin look instantly better, can we talk about the brilliance that is Glossier Stretch Concealer? Yeah, it's great. Which, by the way, I need to ask you some questions about. It's still my go-to if I'm knackered under eye concealer, because it doesn't sit in your... Creases. Creases, and I've got a lot of those. However, I also saw it used the other day on somebody and they used it all over their face as a base and it, they just buffed it in with a brush like really? that. So it kept going in and then Katie Jane Hughes used it all over her face. Buff, 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 buff. She put an oil on first and, she just, and it made the most amazing, beautiful base. Really lovely, really glowy. However, can you explain to me the new colouring? What do you mean? Well, it's got loads more shades and they're now not called medium, light, dark. It's now called G7, G, X, G. Do yeah. you know that? Yeah, of course. Cool. What does G stand for? <laughs> Glossier. Oh! <laughs> I was like golden, light golden. No, 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 it's just a brand. So it's, well, when they started, they were just very, very Three small. Three shades. Yeah. And, and now there are... More. <laughs> <laughs> They've extended the shade range okay, so in... Um, in the concealer, but also in the um, foundation yeah. bases. Well, well, the oh, I didn't realise. I thought G meant golden, so I thought there'd be a golden. No, no, no. T no, for no, tan. No. Okay, mm -hmm. right. it's really difficult. Somebody asked me. Somebody said, "I'm already using the medium, medium dark. What should I buy?" And I went, "Oh God, I don't know. I need to have a look." Well, I don't know. You, you would always go dark. See, some people go darker, some people go lighter, don't they? I always go a bit lighter. I wouldn't go a shade up. Okay. Ever, but I think that. Um, but that medium's quite light for me. I'm dark. I was originally deep. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Growing, learning, Growing, changing. learning, changing. You know, I think it's really difficult for brands that... Anyway, it's absolutely brilliant. The secret is to apply it with one of those. So apply it with a synthetic flat brush, sorry. Was that what you would use, not yeah. your finger? No, I wouldn't use my finger. Don't know where they've been, do you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I do, but you don't. <laughs> sorry, you were going to say brands. Oh, it's just like 40 colours to launch yeah. with. It's just, it's it's difficult. It's fine if you're owned by LVMH or L'Oreal yeah. or whatever, but if you're not, then it, it, it's a very big ask. <clears throat> anyway, I just think that's such a good concealer and I come back to it time and time and time again and I think if you're really knackered, it's a great one to put under your eyes. Yeah, I think, really and it's good. really good because it's sort of like, I know it's called stretch concealer, but it feels like it's not just sort of stick staying there and like... It feels like it fills in the fine lines, but it doesn't highlight the fine yeah. lines. It's just really clever. Because the worst thing to do, I think what I've learned over the years is not to put on... I used to, when I was really tired, I just put on loads of makeup and tried to hide it. And actually it makes you look even more tired. It's just like hydration, 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 isn't it? Just keep the freaking hydration level. I would up. put that all over my eyes. I put all my serums all over my eyes. And then when it's still damp, I go in with that. And yeah, it's like good, that. so it doesn't there, distract. That's a bare essentials and a really old Givenchy one. But the idea is that you just want a flat brush that just goes in like that, mm. and then you go like that. And over I think you should wear less makeup as well when you're tired. I think less makeup is better. Now, talking of less makeup, I love the fact that you've chosen two things that are makeup skincare hybrids. Ooh, this is like... Do you know what? When Charlotte first launched How many this, people love this? When she first launched it... Um, I used it a bit as like a highlighter and you know fine but then I just then I started using it as because I need such or I like to have such full coverage on my face I didn't want to use it all over I just felt that it wouldn't do what I needed but it really 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 what does. colour are you well this is a four I'm, I'm gonna ask I can go this is a four medium but I can go up to a six if 
you know, I've got on fake tan or I'm on, going on holiday so this or whatever. Is Hollywood flawless filter. Hollywood by flawless which, are, filter. which Ruth has mentioned, like so many people love this product. And you can put it on over your makeup, on your makeup, mix it with your makeup, use it without makeup. I mean, so many people absolutely love it. What I do now with, your makeup and your with everything else. At the end of the day. <laughs> It's only four o'clock. <laughs> I've got another couple of layers left yet. What, do you know what I do with this network? So when I'm really bloody, this just picks up light and it just makes your face just look glowy. I've just voted for this in the Marie Claire Pretex launch as the makeup launch of last year. Are you allowed to say that? I am allowed to say that because when the, uh, anyway, there's no guarantee it's going to win. I'm just thinking it should be. It's the, stand, oh. it's the standout makeup launch of last year. I think so. If you put it on your face before you put on your foundation or anything like that, so say you're really, really tired, like I was this morning, I just put it all over, rub it in with fingers or this brush, which I'm uh, absolutely obsessed by, and it just makes your face just look, not like you're wearing makeup, but it, actually I've got pigmentation here little bit sort of like up here melasma type stuff. It soft focuses it, Just doesn't it? Just soft focuses everything. It soft focuses And then what I would your put, glow and oh, it's color. amazing. And then you don't need to use a foundation. Then I would just use a concealer, concealer. like that one. And then obviously with all your serums on underneath. And then you don't look like you're caked in makeup because when you're like a lot of the makeup I wear is quite heavy. So when you're tired, it just looks dry yeah. and like makes you look older and blah, blah. So Can we talk about that this? brush. So oh. Real Techniques have just launched this brush. Do you know that? Where yeah. did you get it from? You. Did you? When you sent it over the stuff over to the office, I took it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I popped in some money into the... <laughs> so Real Techniques have just launched this. No, if I you saw look it and I was like, oh, I love that. There, what she didn't know is it's, it's formulated for skincare. It's not formulated for makeup. So mm. those little dents are designed to hold skincare. So it's for masks, serums, moisturizers, primers, things like that. However, Joe just uses it for everything. Because as you said earlier on, in your words, what? Who can be who can be bothered putting their skincare on with a brush? Not when I've just spent hours doing this, deep puffing and then putting that on. It is a great brush. It's brand new. It's the Real Techniques 101. It's in and it's that perfect hybrid brush for primers and things like uh, flawless filter. It just gets everything on really evenly. Yeah. It's so good. And I actually, the brush that I used before was a uh, Real Techniques brush. Oh, I love Real Techniques. That's a Real Techniques. That's Real Techniques Bold Metals 301, which is what I use for, it's got really short bristles for control. I use that for liquid and cream blushes. I think this is better for me than my IT Cosmetics. Whoa, brush. that's a big statement, really. And also, this is, this is much more affordable as well. Gosh, you remember when we never had brushes when we were kids? Like, no. never ever had brushes. Or do you remember the fake nylon, hideous, oh, yeah. stubby things you got from Woolworths? They make such a difference to how you apply your... But it's faster okay, as well. Okay, so that's your new... This is like, I love this brush. And I think you love it because when you're tired, you're not really using foundation. You're using flawless filter yeah. and BB drops. That's a, bo a borium yeah. BB drops. Now, you used to, before you wore it, cosmetics, you used to wear... A Borium CC cream. Yeah, which is it? brilliant, yeah. Yeah. So uh, tell me how BB Drops works. Um, so this is, well, obviously I've got drawn in again. <laughs> it's got anti-tired. By, it, 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 yeah, exactly. Oil. And baby skin effect. It's just soft focus. It's like a blurring cream. But what I, I really like the, um, I really, it's like a little bit like cloud paint, like Glossier cloud paint, but obviously much, much lighter with not much pigment in it but it just refines pores, it just doesn't sit in your creases, it just like has little spidery veins and so on, and just gives you a nice little, you can put it How is over. it different from Flawless Filter? Probably not that much. Oh no, this hasn't got light reflecting as much as Flawless Filter is all about light. Flawless Filter is, like this isn't, it's light, not nowhere near as much as that, the pigment of light reflecting. Yeah, that. I think that that is a BB cream in a slightly concentrated form designed to go over a well moisturized face it's essentially a concentrated bb cream yeah it's nice it's part it's a bit of a um a line extension but i really like this brand it's a you do, brand. You? yeah and yeah. i think it's it's not cheap but it lasts for ages and i think that their cc cream is absolutely brilliant i stopped using it because i then you discovered the it yeah. cosmetics and it was um cheaper it was basically cheap. Did I say it? no i say it's my fault i say it cosmetics is it cosmetics i'm sorry oh, but if you Google it, it still comes up as the same thing. It does. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
And then finally, I'm gonna go for something that's ridiculously expensive, but is worth the money. And that is a Pericone MD No Highlighter Highlighter. Ooh. The whole Pericone makeup diffusion line, no blusher blusher, no foundation foundation, no lip gloss, lip gloss, all that thing. They're really good. They're ridiculously expensive, but this is without a doubt the standout product. And this is the No Highlighter Highlighter. Does it smell of fish? Which Why? of their product? One of their products really smells oh, fishy. One of the DMEA ones. I've got the foundation one. I don't think the foundation will give you enough coverage. No, it doesn't. Hence this brush. So what's this doing now? So basically, it gives you light reflection and it gives you all oh, that soft... Yeah. See, look? No, I might have to blend it in a bit. Yeah, well, I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, I could put mine on without seeing what I'm doing. You have to have the magnifying glass times 10, don't I you? I do, yeah. Times 30, preferably. Oh, no way. You see? So what that does is if you're frightened of shimmer and you're frightened of sparkle, but you want that light reflective, slightly Instagram cheekbone thing, that's what that does. It's sadly ridiculously expensive, but I like it. Mm. What do you think? Yeah, it's nice. It's a bit too, it's quite it's subtle. subtle for you, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> and also it isn't called something like baby soft skin again or But collagen. also I am 12 years older than you and that's I not like much. subtle. That's not much. The difference between you and I, do you know what the big chasm between you and I? And when I'm 68 yeah. and you're my age, yeah. you'll go, you were so right. What? What is it? You haven't been through the menopause. No. Then you'll know what hag it is. Oh, no. I mean, I feel like I've been through it. <laughs> That's the wrong thing to say to someone that has been through it. <clears throat> no, I, I mean, you know, I take hormones, so it's absolutely fine. I, I did have a bit of a rough time and then I need to do a video about it. I know, I'm sorry. Um, uh, and I'm absolutely fine. I, it's amazing. It's, being free from periods is incredible. But trust me, your face starts to fall off. It really does. It does. <laughs> Plum to prune, that's <laughs> That was so shocking, my camera shut down. <laughs> thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. I'll put all the details down below. These are the beauty hags, how to de-hag good your face. face. Hacks. That's like, Hacks. That's Hacks. Like Hacks. Hacks, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. I'll put all the details down below and we'll see you soon. Thank you.